kingdom of heaven is like a man who found a treasure. Oh, maybe I could. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, what if I? I can't do that either. Or I could. Nope, I can't do that either. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, Freddy. How are you? I'm good, Brian. You look like you were thinking really hard. <laughs> I, I was. I, see, we've got this really cool Bible story this week, and I want to want to do something cool with it. I want to really bring it to life. Well, so what's the Bible story? Glad you asked. Our Bible story this week is in Matthew 13, and it says this. It says, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, and when a man found it, he hid it again. And then in his joy, he sold everything that he had, and he bought the field. Wow, that <laughs> is short. Yeah, but it's... But it's a great story, and I just can't seem to, I just can't seem to figure out what to do to bring it to life. I got it! Oh, you have an idea? Oh yeah! All right, lay it on me. So first, I need your help. You need me to help you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, are you ready? Ready. Okay, you need to snap your fingers. Snap my... Just do it, Brian! Okay. No, that's more like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I like this. Come on, bow to me. You are my royal subject. Bow and gravel at my... That's more like it. A miner might find a treasure in a field. Oh, but I don't like it. Snap your fingers again, please. That's what I'm talking about. Arr, matey, walk the plank. Pirate treasure off the port bow. We're looking for treasure. Aw, oh, come on, Brian. A pirate would totally find buried treasure. Yeah, but a pirate would probably just take the treasure because, you know, that's what pirates do. The guy in our story sold everything to have it. Right, right. So, so why am I dressed like a farmer? Well, seems like a good person to have walking through a field. Oh, so in the story, I'm the man who found the treasure. Sort of. So the kingdom is a great treasure, and when we choose to follow Jesus, we do kind of sell everything because we leave our old way of life. So in that way, we're kind of like the man who's walking through the field. But there's another way to look at it. What's the other way? Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy, you're the treasure. You're the what? You're the treasure, Freddy. Listen to what the Bible says in Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12, 2 says, keep your eyes on Jesus, our leader and instructor. He was willing to die a shameful death on the cross because of the joy he knew would be his afterwards. And now he sits in a place of honor by the throne of God. Think about it. A man who sold everything he had because of his joy to purchase something precious to him. Who does that sound like? Oh, wow! It's Jesus! Yeah! Freddy, Jesus was willing to pay any price for us. He even paid the price of his life. He sold everything to have you, and that makes you his treasure. Oh, wow! Hey, Brian, can you show me how to snap your fingers? Yeah, definitely. So, see, Freddy, what you're going to do is you're going to put these two fingers together, and you just go like this. 